What is truly happening in Gaza right now? An age-old question, yet its relevance is never diminished. The current situation in Gaza is a complex blend of historical conflicts, religious tensions, and pressing modern-day challenges. Let's start by looking at the recent clashes in Jerusalem. The Al-Aqsa Mosque compound known to Jews as the Temple Mount has become a flashpoint of conflict. This highly sensitive area has witnessed confrontations between Israeli security forces and Palestinians. Just last year similar clashes spiraled into a war, leading to the tragic loss of life on both sides. The events unfolding in this sacred place during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan have sent ripples of concern across the globe. There were incidents of Palestinians throwing firecrackers and stones, to which Israeli riot police responded resulting in numerous injuries. The atmosphere remains tense, with the fear of a renewed Israeli-Palestinian conflict hanging heavy in the air. The reactions to these events have varied greatly. Palestinian leaders have condemned the Israeli actions, warning of possible escalation. On the other side, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has stated that authorities are working to restore calm, but are prepared for any scenario. And then there's Hamas. The ruling party in Gaza, Hamas has vowed to respond to the Israeli use of force. This promise of retaliation adds yet another layer of complexity to an already intricate situation. But beneath the immediate tensions lies a deeper issue. The underlying anger and grievances over Israel's military occupation of Palestinian territories continue to fuel the fire of conflict. The relief measures such as easing some restrictions on Palestinian movement have done little to quell this anger. As we delve into the heart of the matter, we must remember that every action has a consequence. Every stone thrown, every word spoken in anger, every force used in response, they all contribute to the precarious balance of peace and conflict in Gaza. This volatile situation sparked by a series of incidents has the potential to escalate into a wider conflict. As we continue to explore the current state of affairs in Gaza, let's strive to understand the complexities, the underlying issues, and the human stories that lie beneath the headlines. How has the COVID-19 pandemic affected the already complex situation in Gaza? Let's dive into this pressing issue. Gaza, a region already strained by socio-political complexities, has not been spared by the global health crisis. The COVID-19 pandemic has thrown the Palestinian territory into an even more precarious situation. Hospitals, the front line in this battle, are reaching their limits. With a surge in COVID-19 cases, around 70% of intensive care unit beds are occupied. The high positivity rate often reaching as high as 43% is a stark reflection of the uncontrollable spread of the virus. However, this number might even be an underestimation due to a shortage of tests. The challenges don't stop there. Gaza lacks the capacity to identify highly infectious COVID-19 variants, making the fight against the virus even more difficult. The blockade led by Israel and supported by Egypt has limited Gaza's access to the outside world, leading to shortages of critical supplies and equipment. This means the people of Gaza are fighting a war with limited ammunition. Contrastingly, next door Israel has had a successful vaccination rollout with over 53% of Israelis fully vaccinated. This stark contrast between the two regions is a testament to the disparities in access to healthcare resources. Factors contributing to the spike in COVID-19 cases in Gaza are multifaceted. From the flouting of guidelines to the opening of Gaza's border with Egypt and vaccine skepticism, all have played a role in exacerbating the situation. Despite receiving over 109,000 doses of vaccines, only 34,000 people have been vaccinated. The pandemic has added another layer of complexity to the situation in Gaza, further straining its limited resources. It's a dire situation that demands urgent attention and action from the global community. It reminds us of the need for unity and cooperation in combating not just the virus, but the underlying issues that have made the fight so much harder in regions like Gaza. What are the underground activities taking place in Gaza and how do they impact the overall situation? Dive with me into the subterranean world of Gaza where a complex network of tunnels weave beneath the surface. These tunnels have been making headlines with one particular tunnel beneath Al-Shifa, Gaza's largest hospital, drawing significant attention. Allegedly used by Hamas, this tunnel is no mere dirt corridor. It extends 55 meters with a shaft that plunges 10 meters deep equipped with a blast-proof door and a firing hole. Now why is this a point of contention? The Israeli Defense Forces or IDF assert that Hamas uses these tunnels for military purposes, operating underneath hospitals, effectively using these medical facilities as human shields. 
This practice, if true, raises serious concerns as it violates international humanitarian law, which strictly prohibits using medical facilities for military operations. But what does this mean for Al-Shifa Hospital? This once vibrant medical facility now bears the scars of conflict, with signs of shelling and gunfire evident. The hospital has essentially ceased functioning as a healthcare center, a stark reminder of the toll this conflict has taken on Gaza's infrastructure and its people. To grasp the severity of the situation, a team of United Nations and World Health Organization experts embarked on a high-risk mission to assess the conditions inside the hospital. Their findings underscore the dire circumstances, painting a sobering picture of a health system struggling to survive amidst the turmoil. These underground activities, whether for defense or offense, further complicate the dynamics of the conflict in Gaza. The implications reach far beyond the physical damage, affecting the social fabric of the region and the daily lives of its people. As we navigate through this intricate narrative, it's crucial to remember the human faces behind these headlines, the individuals caught in the crossfire of a conflict that shows no signs of abating. These underground activities, whether for defense or offense, further complicate the dynamics of the conflict in Gaza. What are the key points we should take away from the current situation in Gaza? To start with, we've delved into the recent clashes in Jerusalem, a situation that has sparked fears of a wider conflict. The Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, a significant area in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, has been a focal point of these tensions. Next, we've analyzed the impact of COVID-19 in Gaza, where the health system is stretched to its limits. The pandemic has exacerbated an already challenging situation due to limited access to resources, causing a surge in cases and a strain on healthcare facilities. We've also shed light on the complex issue of underground activities by Hamas, including the alleged use of tunnels beneath medical facilities which further complicates the humanitarian situation. The situation in Gaza is complex and multifaceted, with historical, political and health crises intersecting. This complexity underscores the challenges that lie ahead. Understanding these dynamics is crucial to fostering dialogue and finding sustainable solutions. As we wrap up, let's remember that every one of us can contribute to this dialogue. Understanding the situation in Gaza is the first step towards fostering dialogue and finding solutions. Share your thoughts and join the conversation.